Hi guys, this is Aquila. So I really wanted to do a video um, mid-December generalizing and discussing basically the energy levels of this uh, month, the mid-month and um, to the end of the year. So we're going to talk about um, the sun moving into Capricorn uh, on the 20 second of this month and Capricorn is an earth sign so this is going to be a, a, a lot more uh, grounded energy Capricorn begin ends and um, begins the new year so it's a lot more on um, more on focusing on your goals um, focusing on what it is that you need to do in order um, to be a little bit more progressive or the, the steps that you can take uh, to help in um, in certain areas uh, and also just checking in with yourself on have you um, really done everything this year that you felt that you needed to do um, or that you had put on your list or however this year uh, may have been mapped out or planned for you for progression. Um, did you at least handle some of those things with the sun in Capricorn? It's going to be like another check with that before the, the year is up and then the year begins again with Capricorn where you can still help yourself to progress uh, with the with the changes that you want to make or the progression that you want to make, whether it be um, goals for your uh, personal life or goals for your professional life. So we're going to talk about this uh, full moon in Cancer happening um, on the 25th, which is on Christmas Day. For those of you that celebrate Christmas, uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you on that day. So the sun, uh, the moon is going to be, um, excuse me, there's going to be a full moon in Cancer on the 25th at three degrees Cancer. And the last time there was a full moon in um, Cancer or on Christmas period was 1977. And there's not going to be a full moon on Christmas again until um, I think 2034, if I'm not if I'm not um, mistaken. So, Cancer is um, a, a very home body sign, a very domestic sign, a sign very concerned with security and family and um, structure of the home. Really, all about nurturing. Um, so. This full moon in Cancer is really going to be uh, really important on Christmas Day or on the 25th uh, for some of you that don't celebrate it out there. Really more about your emotional needs uh, from the home, from family. Uh, really, um, what do you like, you know, wanting family or wanting uh, uh, children. The moon also symbolizes your past and your, your roots, your family of origin, where you really come from. Um, and this full moon in um, Cancer is going to illuminate your family life or your 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 home life or just um, your past uh, life in in general in in your home atmosphere. So this is a really good time to nurture yourself with this full moon in Cancer. Nurture those around you that you care about. Really show them and 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 kind of like show them how how much you care and appreciate them. It's more so about the presence of the person. Uh, this year instead of really more the gift giving you're just really grateful for that uh with this energy uh with the full moon also to cancer is a financial sign people do forget to mention that because cancer is also associated with security of the home so some financial issues of yours uh, or um fears about your security is going to be something that you're actually going to be probably thinking about uh with this full moon in cancer but the family is highlighted on the 25th with this moon in cancer the sun being in um capricorn is really giving that more structure you know grounded wanting to be really more um responsible uh in terms of you know the family and being around the family what's you know what are the rules and regulations that your family really does around the holidays whatever that may be so this full moon is going to be a public moon so really um exposure of the emotional needs and the emotional feelings of oneself um and really what it is about um your family dynamic and whatever family dynamic that may be how it represents you and how your past has probably shaped and formed you a little bit so really shedding a light on that emotional security uh, and the financial security uh, and the well-being of just your children in general because uh, cancer is also a very mothering um, sign it is the sign of the mother so really about your children the well-being of your children but we also have uh, Uranus also going direct around the 25th or the 26th, depending on where you are. And Uranus has been in Aries, which is a fire sign, very um, 
a very blunt, uh, straightforward sign. And Uranus is the planet of spontaneity, change. It's a revolutionary planet. And Uranus is really, um, the message with it being in Aries is really like, be the change that you want. Um, and what it is that you basically um, need in your life, you have to take the strides and the steps to really kind of get that going with with the sun in uh, Capricorn, full moon in Cancer, um, and you know Uranus and Aries here, it is really kind of like charging it up. But with the with the sun in Capricorn, it's keeping you focused though on you know your long term goals and what it is that you want for the future for yourself. So with Uranus going direct, which has been retrograding since um, July, and it's going direct now, um, this is really a chance you've been really reevaluating more like. Uh, internally thinking about your rebellious self and really like what makes you feel courageous or what makes you feel like you're living authentically uh, from your for, for yourself so um, it's really about the change with with Uranus and the perspective so what change um, what changes or ways of thinking that you can change to change your perspective on things to look at things differently to be the change that you really want with that so we also have Venus entering into Sagittarius on the 30th of um, of December so uh, a lot more uh, extra being a lot more extroverted Venus is all about attraction Sagittarius is all about being social so a lot of you might want to be social around the 30th by the beginning of uh, by the end of the year going into the beginning of the new year but the overall energy um, for the remainder of the month is really um, it's really grounded energy though even with Uranus going direct um, there's a trine um, on that day so it's not really going to be like as boo and spontaneous as it usually is, it's really more grounded energy. So um, your videos will be out for January uh, for the, the new year. Um, and thank you for being so patient. I, I saw some of uh, the comments that were written. I appreciate the the patience. Um, there's just been a lot of stuff going on. I'm still trying to put all these videos together, explaining um, planets in the houses. I've been recording some for you guys, so I hope uh, by next year you like them. They'll be out. Again, Happy New Year, and I want to say a big shout out to all of the Sagittarius that I missed to say happy birthday on for the month of um, of December. Uh, again, if anyone knows and you watch your videos, I do love Sagittarius energy. It's always fun. And also to a big early birthday to all of you Capricorns that celebrate your birthday this December. So again, like your videos will be out uh, in, um, excuse me, by, um, the, by January 1st. So I'll see you guys.